Most people in the industry fail. They don't show up. They just don't show up. Mm -hmm. You know, like it literally, like in college, I had to show up to class to pass the class. It wasn't hard. It wasn't rocket science. If I showed up, I, I won. In, in, in insurance, you just gotta show up. You know, you win. most people never show up, so they don't win. 98% of success, but that, slow, that, that thing online is just showing up. Yeah. But, but it's reality. Dude, it's so simple. It's like, okay, I just gotta show up. I, like, like for me, I got to where about every 25 door knocks that I would make, mm -hmm. I would make a sale. So guess what I gotta do? So I went out to try to do 50 door knocks a day mm -hmm. and make two sales a day. Like it, it was easy, I, you know what I mean? But I, but I had to show up and do it. Most people don't want to do it. Like if you say, yeah. they'll say, I want to be successful no matter what, Nate. And you're like, go oh, do yeah. this. Well, except for that. I really want to be successful, but not if I have to do that, you know? Yeah, I, I'll do it as long as I don't have to do that. Like I mean, in the mortgage yeah. protection, the same thing. Like you, you set up the number of dials, right? Yeah. If you do 250 dials, you'll get a hold of X amount of people, sell many things. And you start counting it and you realize you're making $7 every dial you make. Exactly. But people don't see that. Mm -mm. They see the $17 they made with no answer. Yeah. And the person that didn't show up and the reschedule. So yeah. you went from uh Well, and the, the one problem that I have, I have a flaw. Okay. Whoa, wait, Hi, hold on a minute. Do we have all oh, cameras geez. on? We, wait. I didn't Cody mean like that. Him. I have many flaws. He has no. a flaw. I don't please. know where it's at. This is going to be good here. Let's get, make sure we have this. The battery's going well. We get, we're good? Right. One. Cody Askins flaw. Here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> what do they do that like in the movie? Yeah. <laughs> Action. <laughs> Action. Massive. One massive flaw. Okay. When I train and educate on YouTube and train insurance agents and all that stuff, I train so simple. Mm -hmm. that it makes it seem easy and attainable mm. for anyone. Hmm. But I may, but, but wow. it wasn't as easy for me as it sounds like it was. And people need to realize that just because I make it seem easy when I do some training, it doesn't mean that in the real world, it's actually going to be that easy. And that's one thing that I haven't done well and that I've probably done the insurance industry a disservice because I've made it, made it seem like everything is easy. Like I got a comment on YouTube earlier because mm -hmm. um, it was me cold calling. <laughs> You've been talking for 15 look, minutes and you got two six, hours ago. Six Jord, Jordan C commented on my YouTube. You make it look so easy. It's a cold calling video. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't always that easy. No. You know, like for you, I've seen you go out, dude, the dude could write $100,000 a month of life insurance part time. And you're one of the few that I know that could actually pull it off. <laughs> and it looks so easy, but it wasn't always that easy. It takes yeah. time to get freaking great at something. Well, it, it, it's, it's simple, but it's not easy. We yeah. live here in Texas. Would you say it's slightly hot? Yeah, dude, it was like a hundred when like I was playing Friday, basketball. Friday, I was like covered in Friday, sweat. Dude. Right? I mean, so if I said, Hey, Cody, go outside in my backyard yeah. and dig 10 holes so we can plant some trees. That's simple. Oh, dude. I don't have to like, you don't think I still think that's easy too, but yeah, yeah, But no, but yeah. it's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy. Yeah. Not for everybody. Yeah. Right? But if I say, hey, go out and dig a hundred holes. Yeah. It's a little bit harder now, isn't it? Yeah. And then people will go out and go, hey, I can do 10. And then they get the 12 and they come inside and it's oh, hot. They, they, I'll, I'll do sunburned. it. I'll finish it tomorrow. Right, I'm a sunburn. I'll finish it tomorrow. I'm yeah. dehydrated. You don't understand. I, the, the sun makes me um, uh, it, mental. Yeah. Well, it's also a mindset thing too, because you said you were about to say that's simple, but not easy. And I said, I know it's still easy, it's still right? Easy. If it, I look at obstacles. So here's another story. My, tr I, I started training and working out with a trainer. So I have two that we trade different days, but whatever. In January. Which is obvious, Hercules. Shut up. That's his Dude, I'm still it. tiny, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm in good shape. You're not big, man. Come on, just look. I'm not I, big. I can wash, no, stop, I can wash stop. my clothes on his abs, right? <laughs> I'm not big. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm in ripped. good shape. How about that? Is ripped. it? Whatever. They, I don't know. I don't work That's out, good. so they call it like swole. Like he's ripped. Yeah. Right? This is like going to turn into a workout it. video. Like you can surge. Yeah, we need to do Cody Haskins workout video. 8% fitness. Uh, yeah, we need to do it for sure, for sure. But when I went to my, I had my first workout. Right. Uh, well, one of my first ones was, was later when, 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 when COVID started happening mm -hmm. and I, I had him come to my house. Yeah. I remember yeah, had, had, that in the garage and stuff. Yeah. I hadn't, I actually, I don't, I don't even know. I don't think I started in January. I think it was later. So I, I hadn't worked out with him very many times. My first workout at my house destroyed me. I couldn't finish some of the exercises. 
I was tired of your day from watching you work out. I actually woke up <laughs> sore this morning. I told you, I was like, going, ah, I'm a little go ahead. So you destroyed you. And, and it, it irritated me. Oh. And, and, and I said, from now on, mentally, I said, get the freak up. I said, from now on, when something is difficult, I want you to say out loud, this is too easy. It's like when you said that was supposedly hard, that, that was my, that's my thing now. Like it's easy. And my trainer hates it because he'll put me through like the most brutal workout they've ever put together. And I'll be like, dude, it's too easy, man. And, and they cannot break me now. Like I will just go harder and harder and harder. Wow. But it was, a min- it was a mindset shift because I wasn't that way towards working out. I didn't, use, I didn't like to work out. Yeah. First April Nation, 2018, I wore a t-shirt, 2018 April Nation yesterday, last night. That conference, I didn't work out every day. Huh. I felt like the biggest hypocrite in the world. After that conference, I said, dude, you are telling people Energy is everything. Mm-hmm. You are telling people that you need to, you know, be, be, have a, ha, ha, be mentally tough and all this other stuff, but you're not working out. You're a hypocrite. I'm talking to myself. Mm-hmm. A week after the conference, I started working out in November of 2018. I was on vacation actually, November, November of 2018, something clicked and I've worked out literally almost every day since. Wow. Too easy, huh? It did. It's he, too easy. I bet, I bet he hates it. Oh, they do. They'll you be like balls and ropes and sleds, and you're like, "Oh, this is too easy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now they call me too easy, Cody. Yeah. <laughs> so take take us from real quick, because um, this is what I think everyone wants to know, and if the people are still watching. Take us from where. And if, and if you're not still watching, that's the reason you're gonna freaking fail anyway, because you can't finish a video. <laughs> I know. If you can't finish a video, you'll never finish a day of Here, success. Here's a guy who hasn't hit the age of thirty, who dwarfs most entrepreneurs in the entire country in terms of success and, and credibility and integrity and likability. I mean, there's very, there's very few people I see that, that hold on, that, that don't like you, right? You, you have, you have, you're like the, the guy, the kid, all American boy, kid next door. You have a love for, you know, your family, God, this, you're like the whole package, right? I, I, I want to be liked. I don't like, I don't like people. I don't like having haters. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? We're, as we grow, we're starting to get them a little bit and it's, and it's, and it sucks. And, but, but also the way you talk about me now, five years ago, I couldn't talk about myself that way. Right. You know what I mean? And, but I always wanted someone talk about me that way, you know, or some type yeah. of success or some type of money or a company or people. Dude, literally, no, nobody will believe this. I think it was, uh, was it 2016 or 2017? Maybe, mm-hmm. t- maybe part of 2017, I hired my first employee ever. Oh, three years ago. You know what I mean? Like anybody can was have. That scary? That was scary. Huh? Oh, dude, it, it was like <laughs> the biggest, it was like the biggest decision of my life. And now, now you're got, hiring like 30 a week. Yeah, you know, we got like 70, you, have you like know? 70 employees. Yeah. So here you are, you're this embodiment, right? And, and I mean, and what you've, and I think it's, tell me if you agree with this. Like, you know, when you read the book, Think and Grow Rich, it talks about like, you know, once you start getting these principles, you start, money eludes you and eludes you and eludes you, you go after it. And all of a sudden then, yeah. You go, you start getting these principles that he talked about, desire, right? And faith, right? And auto yes. suggestion yes. and the, the discipline and all the, you know, uh, uh, thoughts or things. And then all of a sudden it starts yeah. becoming too easy. And you're yeah. almost like, where was this the whole time? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, you go out and you run a, a marathon, half marathon. Yeah. Right? And people are telling you it's impossible. There's no way to run a half marathon in under two minutes or nine minutes a mile. It's not going to happen. Under yeah. two hours, yeah. not going to happen. First marathon, trains for a week. And... I had no doubt, you know, it was the hillbilly uh, marathon. Hillbilly run got, <laughs> the in hillbilly Ozark, run. Missouri. However, who cares? It doesn't matter. You're going up and down the hills on the hillbilly run. And you're in a competition against the other people. You're in a competition against yourself and you finished under two hours. Yeah. Averaged under, I think it was a bright ad or under nine minutes a mile. Correct. And everyone told, everyone you talked to said it can't be done. For your first one, that's what they said. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. did it. But that's now your life. Well, but what's funny is though, one week before that, I ran seven miles. I averaged 10 minutes a mile for seven and I was dying. I'm like, I can't even finish them, finish it. And then a week later, I'm running double in less the time. Wow. But it, it, was, it was something in me. So I wrote something down. You talk about goals and write stuff down oh, a lot. Absolutely. And people got to do this. I wrote down the night before. Mm-hmm. I think I saw a picture of it, by the way. I just completed my first ever half marathon in under two hours on this date and signed it. That's it. That wasn't fake. I willed it into existence. Now the difference is I don't just say stuff. I went out and did whatever the freak it took to finish it. I was dying. I, I, I said, 
I said, what type of story will it be? Because I got up to where I was averaging 905, 910 yeah, yeah. per mile, turn, you were that, yeah. about halfway. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm, I'm going the wrong direction. You know, mm -hmm. I said, what type of story will it be that I can look back on? If in this moment I hyper focus and do the things I want to do, what type of story will this be? So I'm going to get up and tell part of that story tomorrow. It's That's a success law, Cody, and most people ignore it. If you read, then read Think and Grow Rich. <laughs> He lays it out there, Napoleon Hill, right? Yeah. He, he, he lays it out there and says, your mind, is a, it's a computer, it's programmable. And the most programmable your subconscious mind is, is in the morning yeah. and before you go to bed. And he said, write them out. And I, write, I was taught to write them on blue cards because it's friendly to the subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. The house we're sitting in, I showed you a picture at last night. Yeah, yeah, I, you I'll did. I'll have to show that picture up there. I, I, I'm, I'm starting the insurance industry. I'm completely broke because I had left my other career. I went through my savings. I'm driving around to people's homes like I thought I never would. I had, I had to replace $20,000 a month income from my previous lifestyle that I had no money coming in. And I drive by a house. I take a picture and I send it to my wife. And I saw the text. I said, we're going to buy a house like this one day and put heart and I'm less than a month in. And I showed you the picture. Yeah. How like 90% almost the exact and I forgot about the whole conversation. I forgot about that picture. I found it later. Oh. So you did what most people don't do because they think it's cheesy. They think it's hypey. They go, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Andrew Carnegie hired Napoleon Hill, studying people for 20 years, the most successful people on the planet. And he said, hey, what do they do? They auto-suggestion and they program their subconscious mind. He wrote, he, he needed a title by the next morning and he did the same thing you do. He sat down he said, I commissioned you, my subconscious mind, to come up with a title that will make millions of dollars and help millions of people. He, Napoleon's helped lost talks, yeah? And he wrote it on a card, signed it, woke up next morning, he goes, I got it, I got it, think and grow rich. Mm. And here you are before, like, yeah. it's so powerful. It, it, it's like, there's so many hacks. I guess you guys call them hacks. They hang around all the yeah. millennials, right? It's, well, it's success tough to have conversations because yeah. where, where's your phone? We're, we're, we're all talking. I'm like, I'm not used to this. You know, Brad, you, you're all like, yeah, uh-huh. There's like, I'm like 20 people. I'm like, my phone's upstairs, guys. My phone's upstairs. You're like, oh no, yeah. Oh, so did you see this? I'm like, that's crazy. But there's, there's hacks to success that most yes. people think are BS or just, you know, pie in the sky, fairy dust. Yep. And you did it. You did the hack. I mean, it's no shock. Like that doesn't well, shock I'm me still doing it. it. doesn't shock me. I'm still doing it. It doesn't shock me. I have it. I'm still doing it. I, 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 I've, I've got a picture of the jet. That I will own one day that I don't have right now, you know, right. like, and, and, I, and the same thing with my wife. I was always telling her, like, these are the things that we will have. Doesn't and, it has to piss people off because they, they think it's a joke. They it has do, to piss but it off like going, oh, because because you do a dream board doesn't mean you're going to have it without an action motivator and without yeah, a real true belief, faith. Yes. To activate. Yes. You know, the Bible says faith, the size of mustard seed will move mountains. Well, I never see anyone move a mountain, but yeah. in my viewpoint, the NIV version, the Nate International version, right? <laughs> faith the size of a mustard seed can move mountains. It means if you have a little bit of faith, you can yeah. have success. So what's that mean? That means zero doubt. Yeah. You can't have faith and doubt at the same time. Totally. Like you can't be kind of pregnant, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can't be yeah. like, Lauren, you know, the tests are in and you're, you're kind of pregnant. Yeah. Like you're either pregnant or you're not, right? right? You, you either have faith or you have doubt. And so what I think the Bible is talking about, faith the size of mustard, you can move mountains. It means that if you have zero doubt, there's no obstacle that you can take out yep. from, from up to you. Yep. Hey, if you love this, dude, you need, you got to know me. Now it's time to get to know the interviewer Nate offered himself. I've got the interview for you. It's right here. Click on that. We'll see you in there. You talk about impact, right? I don't think you do it for the money, even though you have a lot of money and you always look good, right? You're driving a sick car, but you do it for the impact.